The town of Greenfield is putting an additional backup ambulance into service. 22 News reporter David McKay is live at the Franklin County Bureau with how this backup will improve emergency medical response. After six months of searching, the Greenfield Fire Department found an ambulance they could buy from a volunteer fire department down in Pennsylvania. Now, the ambulance is a unique orange, and they've decided to keep it that way for now to save some money on a paint job. Starting next month, the Greenfield Fire Department will provide a backup ambulance service. There are times where, um, because of the amount of call volume, where, where an ambulance isn't available, we're going to be able to fulfill that role and get people to the hospital quicker. The Greenfield Fire Department will be notified when the primary ambulance provider in the area, MedCare, is unavailable. It's going to be a, a big help because it can get busy at times. And uh, currently, we have to call mutual aid in from towns outside of Greenfield to come in when we have multiple calls at the same time. Medicare can get 8 to 20 calls on a given weekend, especially during festival weekends. The Greenfield Fire Department has 21 EMTs that have undergone training to take on this new mission. The backup ambulance service will be staffed by two firefighter EMTs to take patients to the hospital and administer medical assistance on site during an emergency. The new ambulance, I think it's going to be very good. It's right here at the fire department. We live over on Congress Street, which is right over on the corner. And we have over 100 people in our building, and it's anytime we have any problems, they're right there within minutes. And I think it's going to be very, very good. The Greenfield Fire Department has been training this week in rope recovery and technical rescue missions. They will be training tomorrow at the Poet Seat Tower, and that will be happening over the next couple of days. Live from the Franklin County Bureau, David McKay, 22 News.